Hello, hello. So today I'm going to be doing some overclocking on our 1080 Ti. So I've got the Asus ROG Strix 1080 Ti and we're currently running it on water. So we've got the EK custom water block on there and that's obviously powered by an open loop. So we've got two 360 radiators uh, in the loop and we can see currently our temperatures are around 33 degrees now we do have heaven running in the bent in the background here so that's why you see the uh, boost clock is slightly higher than it would be at idle now we have the asus uh, gpu tweak 2 downloaded so i have this run on startup and it just automatically runs the overclock in the background you haven't got to do anything it will just apply it when the computer boots up so we're currently set to default and that's on the gaming mode so these are the default settings apart from the fan speed which is set to zero because obviously we have no fans plugged into the card so i'm going to go ahead and open up heaven benchmark what we're doing here is we have quality settings set to stop that so we have our quality settings to ultra and we are currently at let's change this to let's just keep it at 1080 1080p so let's go ahead rush through this quick benchmark just to get a baseline of uh, where we're at at stock so at stock we can see here our temperature is at the moment at 42 degrees that should rise to about 48 degrees and our boost clock has gone up to 1900 megahertz okay so that's our first test done now these scores are obviously going to be a little bit lower than they would be because i'm recording on obs which is using the, the graphics card but for the sake of this test it's, you know you're going to see a difference between base and overclocked so we've got 6231 on score and 247 on fps are so minimum 55 maximum 430 now we see our clock uh it didn't boost above 1900 megahertz and we had about 200 watts on the uh, power draw so let's go ahead now and apply our overclock uh this is my preset one we've got power target plus 120 we've got our memory clock overclock there to 14470 which uh I think it's 5725 and then we've got a GPO GPU boost clock up to 1735 but again that will boost to about 2030 yeah 2035 so let's go ahead rerun the test and see what we get now so here we are with 2476231 that's the number to beat our temperature is currently 45 degrees let's see what we get now Straight away our boost clock has now jumped up to 2050. Now it averages out to about 2035 and our temperature has gone up to 47 but it averaged out about 48 last time I tried it. All right, coming to the end of our run with our overclock now. As we can see our score is now at 6645 with a FPS of 263. So obviously an improvement but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the actual uh, scores at the end of the video with the recordings capped off so I'm going to run the same benchmark again with the recordings uh, off so you know the OBS isn't getting in the way and I'll put those numbers at the end of the video so you can see the difference between normal and uh, overclocked so okay so here we are at the end we've got our overclocked settings on the right here and we can see our overall score is 7176 now this is obviously with obs now terminated so it isn't uh, slowing down our performance so on the left here we've got our stock settings and we can see our score is 6762 with fps rating of 268 so is it worth doing hard to say uh, because I'm on water is a definite yes because my temperatures aren't really changing between stock settings and also overclocking now if I was on air this might be a bit different because I think it'd be hard to control the actual temperatures with the stock cooler on there so um, yeah that might be worth thinking about 
So thanks for watching. Again, I just wanted to make a quick video showing the difference between the stock settings and the overclock settings. And that's using the GPU tweaker from ASUS. And we are overclocking the 1080 Ti ROG Strix edition. Now, I think it, at the moment, there's no graphics card that's worth upgrading to. So I'm obviously waiting until the 3000 series and above. Uh, it's not worth going from a 1080 Ti to a 2080 Ti. And if you can overclock the old 1080 Ti's, why not get that extra performance? So again, thanks for watching and check out some of my other videos.